when New Zealand was round. On the old map of the world, Grandad told me, New Zealand, the North Island and the South Island, fitted neatly together in a circle. It was all one round country. You told me you drew the first map of New Zealand, and you said it was the North Island, the South Island, and Stewart Island then. That was another story, Grandad waved his hands. This one's about the old map of the world. Before Captain Cook drew his map, before Captain Cook, before Tasman, before Coupe, before Maui, New Zealand was round, and the North Island and the South Island fitted together in a circle. Why isn't it like that now? You know how your grandmother's never been able to leave well enough alone? I made the mistake of showing her the old map of the world, and when she saw New Zealand was round, nothing would do but she must fiddle with it, pulling it this way and that till she tore it in two. The South Island came away in her hands, and she stuck it lower down on the map. Then she ripped off the North Island, stuck it further up. That's how New Zealand got to be the shape it is today, long and skinny. Your grandmother dropped some bits she'd torn off, picked them up, stuck them back, any old how. That's the way we got the Coromandel Peninsula, Banks Peninsula, Rangitoto and Stewart Island, and all the other rocks and islands around the coast. You mean Granny changed the shape of New Zealand? Told her again and again to leave things as they are, but she always knows better, giving them a tug here and there. New Zealand was much better before she tore the map and made it so long and narrow. Why? When New Zealand was round, everything else was round too. If anyone wanted to go somewhere, they just rolled there. They didn't have to buy cars, and the price of petrol didn't keep going up. No stink either. New Zealand racehorses were round. People came from all over the world to buy their yearlings, and they rolled so fast, they won wherever they went. New Zealand was very rich in those days. What happened to the racehorses after Granny pulled the map apart? You can't go changing the shape of the country without changing everything else. Instead of being round, our racehorses went square with a leg at each corner, a tail at one end and a head at the other. Instead of rolling so fast, they came last in their races. People turned a different shape, said Grandad. Look at your average New Zealander. You'll see he's quite square. And once we grew arms and legs at the corners, we couldn't roll around any longer. We had to buy cars and tyres and petrol. New Zealand was all right before your grandmother mucked around with the old map. That night, I asked Granny if it was true that she tore the map and ripped the North Island away from the South Island. But she said, You've been listening to your grandfather again. He told me New Zealand used to be a different shape on the old map till you tore it apart. Sometimes, Granny said, I could tear that man apart. She looked at the photo of Grandad she keeps on the mantelpiece. I shut up then, but tonight when everyone's asleep, I'll tiptoe out to the kitchen and hide Grandad's photo.